morning. Well, I said like four days ago it hadn't been raining here. And it's been torrential rain ever since, so I've learnt my lesson not to ever say that again. Anyway, I'm up at the very top of the chateau. I'm going to start clearing off. And I've got my bungee jump harness here. Is this all new ladders, harness? What's next? Hard hat? God, you won't recognise me by the end of this project. is a pretty cool thing. This is the old lightning antenna from the very, very top of the turret point. Weird how things have just fallen in certain places, like how's the top of the turret fallen here, but not damage any of the balustrade. Anyway, cool little find. Okay, well I've found and cleared the drain out, which should help on here with all the drainage stuff. It's actually, I thought this would be like the easy bit, just shoveling all the debris off, but because there's so many trees growing up here, it's all matted with roots and stuff. But little by little, it'll get done. And I'm lobbing it over there into the kind of pile. Anyway. Let's get on with it. Okay, I've took the leap and chosen an iron bar. Well, well, we'll see, eh?
do this. So I'm still standing by the put a nice rigid roof on this bit to protect it but I kind of was just so downtrodden with all the rain pouring in onto the floor that I thought I'd just quickly put up a tarp just to keep some of it off even if it's just for a while even if it jump worked great well quickly was like three and a half hours ago so <laughs> oh well It did mean I got this massive bit of iron work, which was kind of up here, down, so that's one less thing suspended. You'd think I'd have learnt by now that these quick jobs just are never that. Anyway, that'll keep some of it off. Give me time to clear the rest of the tops and then put some sort of structure up there.
So this is a big, big turning point for the project. And let me explain why. So now we've got the winch mounted there where the winch was, we can now put in these last few beams, which means we can glue and screw all this floor down properly and safely. We've got the scaffolding in there on this level ready to be put up. That'll in effect create a bridge between these two sides, allow me to be up there working safely, allow me to take all these bricks down and re-brick up that. And then once all the debris and stuff's down the side, well, then water tanks, I don't, don't even ask how they're coming down because I don't know yet. But that'll allow me to clear off all them. Then I can put up this proper frame for a proper roof thing. Yeah, so now we're at a record stage. I mean, it may be even worth once the tanks are down, having a real look again. I think all this bit is internal. And I think the only reason it was this concrete kind of system is because it was holding the tanks which is not gonna be so maybe that could be wood and that's something i could put in pretty soon as a permanent thing but yeah what i'm trying to say is it's gonna be all go next week I'm so excited. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow.